A very common practice you'll see when testing is instead of when you inject something like root scope, instead of just injecting it like I normally would, they would put an underscore in front of it and an underscore behind it. What this allows you to do, I'm just kind of doing it the slow way here. Um, what this allows you to do is that you can easily name something root scope and assign it to underscore root scope. And then you have a, a reference to root scope, which you can use. Uh, basically all that Angular is doing is stripping these out as a convenience. Um, there's really nothing going on here. It's not some sort of different root scope. It's the exact same root scope. And the, the same thing works for the compile. I'm just going to rename this one. So if I wanted to get the compiler, and I can just assign it to compile, and and I can have the whoops, and I can have the compiler available anywhere I want as well. So that's just a very common practice because all these are usually used for is for injecting, then assigning to something, and then bringing this guy up so you can use it throughout your tests. And you'll see this everywhere when reading other people's tests. So let's just clean up this very last line here to make it more of the standard way of doing things.